All right, so let's take a look at how to go online with the simulated PLC on Codasys here in Windows. This is Codasys version 3.5, Service Pack 19. It's the 32-bit version. Uh, it'll be the same for the 64-bit version. I'll outline a couple things you'll notice uh, that are different on the 64-bit version. So we're gonna start by creating a new project and we're just going to use a standard project. I'm going to save this to my documents. And just untitled three is fine for me. So here in the drop down, we want to choose the Codasys Control Windows version three. Uh, if you're using a 64-bit version, then you'll use the 64-bit version, which is the X64 at the end, but we're using the 32, which is this one right here. So we selected that. Uh, you can select whatever PLC programming language you want for your main routine here, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go online with it really quickly. So I hit okay here. So now we've got a program that's been created We'll go up here into the device on the uh, programming tree here. And we wanna do a scan of the network. And there you go, that's the simulated PLC. But I'm gonna show you what that looks like if uh, there isn't a PLC running. So in your Windows control tray here, your system tray, you have this little icon here, which is your con uh, Codasys control Windows sys tray. Um, if it's the 64-bit version, I'll have a little 64 in the corner also. But if I left-click on that, then I can stop the PLC. It's going to be running by default, but I can stop. And you can see now the lights are out on it, and it's all gray. So we can, we can tell that it's not running. And if I scan the network, I won't be able to find that PLC as an option. So that's an indication that your PLC is not running. You can't find it anywhere. You also may run to the uh, situation where this doesn't exist in your system tray. So if I exit PLC control, you can see it's not there anymore. And I try to scan the network and it's still not showing up. If you need to launch it again, uh, you can go into your um, Codasys folder where your programs are saved and you can relaunch it with the Codasys control Windows 3 v, uh, v3 system tray. You could also get to it through the uh, through the Windows search function here also. So I can launch that and it's back in my system tray and I'll left click and I'll start the PLC. Now if I scan that, that desktop shows up again. I have a, a project in there already. So the visualization came up, but I'm gonna hit this desktop, okay and you will have given it a username and password before. Mine is just automate stuff. And my password is one, two, three. So there you go, I've, I've got a connection. Uh, I've got through my gateway to my device. And now I can do a login. And I can press play to run. So I'm running, but I don't have any code written. So it's not running anything. Um, but there you go. That's how you connect to the simulated PLC provided by Codasys on Windows. And I hope that was useful. I'll see you in the next one.